Hello, and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Terrebonne Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However you may be joining us, we appreciate it very, very much. You know, it's this time of year when we kind of look around and think, what are some things that we want to do? What we got family in, what can we go do that we can enjoy? Well, I'm very glad to offer you an option down and go to Meadow for New Year's Eve, and we're going to do it through the LCEC. So I want to welcome two of the members of that. Buffy, thank you for joining us today. Of course, Buffy Sharp and Shay, very glad you're joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Keith. All right. And Kyle Williams, who's the president of the LCEC, welcome. Glad you're here. Thanks for having us, sir. You got it. And so the Lafouche Concert and Events Club. And for those people that don't know what that is or how long it's been around, Kyle, tell us a little bit about LCEC. So we were officially founded in April of 2022. Okay. But the idea has kind of been floated around since way back before the pandemic in 2019. Okay. So in the end of 2019, we kind of started talking about it and then... The wonderful thing of COVID happened. So right. that kind <laughs> gave of gave you a lot more time to think about it, right? Yeah, it gave a lot more Sadly. time. <laughs> so uh, okay, and so what's the what's the focus for the club? What is the, what does the club really want to do? So our main focus is a kind of a two prong approach. We okay. on one end we provide a low cost entertainment for the community and the events that we do. We do concerts, parades, and everything in between. Okay. And our second phase is fundraising from the first phase to assist the community in times of need. And, and just being able to give back to the community, right? So exactly. So a lot of your fundraising and a lot of the concerts are done and the events you do to give back, right? Correct. And, and so, Buffy, one of those things uh, I know, that tell me why you wanted to get involved. Tell me why you wanted to be a big part of this. I'm in a phase in my life where service is, I think, the theme. Uh, recently elected to Lafouche Parish School Board last year, and serving the community is is really why I did it. Mm -hmm. But the club gives me that other option to do that on a more personal level. So when we have people in our community who are suffering, who are in need, we are able to use some of the funds that we raise through the events that we put on to give back to those who need it the most. Uh, our, one of our largest uh, first events that we did was Ida Aid, and we raised money and gave back to many of the nonprofits who right. supported the people in immediate need after Hurricane Ida. Right. They were putting foods in their mouths and giving them cleaning supplies and all of the necessities right. to get through that tragedy. Right. We Some also of those basic needs. Absolutely. Right? And you were doing it through those organizations, yes. which yes. is really behind the scenes, right? Correct. That's like serving Correct. without being seen. I'm Correct. Sorry, Lafouche Concert Events Club also has an emergency fund where, for example, if someone loses their home to a fire, we're able to put them in a hotel for a few days to get their basic necessities to them while they figure, you know, the next step out. And what to do. Uh, man, I wish I'd have known that. As a social worker, I come across these yeah. situations all the time. Yeah. We've had two or three here recently, but part of Terrible Home Care, that they, they had a fire and mm -hmm. one lost everything, one lost some, one lost just a little. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really good to know that we can kind of turn to uh, places like you guys to do that. But something pretty special happened with this perspective that you have for Christmas, right? Absolutely. So we were leaving church on uh, Sunday and a family who had received gifts through our Angel Tree program uh, came in and they were in need of food and uh, were looking for some assistance. And we just got into a conversation with the mother and found out what her needs were. And we were going to be cooking anyway. Mm -hmm. So we went to the grocery store and purchased a little bit extra Right. And were able to deliver this to the family who said they only had canned goods in their pantry. There were seven people living in a camper mm. since the hurricane and still on the road to recovery. Right. And uh, while the kids were going to be blessed with gifts, you really didn't want them to be hungry mm. and not just eating canned goods on a day like Christmas. So in the spirit of Christmas, we were able to provide a little something special for them and uh just the look on their faces of appreciation is all we needed and that's the kind of thing that i enjoy doing with this club right and just as a member of the community i feel like it's our responsibility that if you have the ability and the means right. that 
we need to help out our neighbors. And so one of those things, one of the ways that y'all do that is through these events. Really looking forward to what's coming up for the New Year's Eve party that's going to be in Golden Meadow. So Aaron, put that up if you don't mind. Uh, so y'all, you guys tell me about this. Y'all got the Roger Dowdy Band coming. Roger Dowdy Band is uh, a really exciting local act. Mm -hmm. So they play country and classic rock tunes, really well received in the community. And so we're putting on this event at the Oak Ridge Community Park, which right. is on 3235 in the town of Golden Meadow. There's a pavilion there. We will be selling food and beverages. It's an all age event. Right. Um, and the band will be playing starting at 830. Okay. We will have a uh, free champagne toast to oh, those okay. who are in attendance 21 and up. <laughs> um, right. Of course. And, you know, the Golden Meadow Oak Ridge Park is the only place in town where you can legally pop fireworks. So while the club will not be putting on a fireworks display, the attendees are more than welcome to stop at the local fireworks stand and bring, bring their, their own. own. Wow. And I'm sure it's going to be exciting to watch. Very good. So Kyle, really exciting to be able to have this, right? Oh, of course. It's all, it's always great to be able to bring the community together on a, on a day like this, kind of reflect on the past year and also help us fundraise to be able to help them in the future. Because like I'll, I always tell people when they're asking, well, why should I donate to you? Mm -hmm. You never know when you're going to need us. So. Right. Or, or who's going to need us. Exactly. Right. And so we don't ever know who those those people are going to be. Uh, and so, again, put that boy up one more time, Aaron. Is, I love your concept, Kyle. So what you've done is you've allowed us to look at what we're doing right now and what we need to be able to do in the future. So right now, as we close out this particular segment, again, I want you to know this New Year's Eve party is free. Yes. People can come out, bring their own fireworks. They can come out. The Roger Dowdy Band is going to be playing at 830 at the uh, Oak Ridge Community Park. Yes. And so really excited about that down in uh, Golden Meadow. And we're going to take a short break. We're going to come back and talk about that and a whole lot more that you guys do in the community. All right? Very good. All right, guys, they're going to stick around. You do that as well. We'll be right back here on Bayou Time. Today's social media segment is brought to you by South Louisiana Bank. It's better when we bank together. Weights and Downer. Attorneys at Law, Terrebon Ford, Built Ford Tough, Alford and Associates for all of your insurance needs, CIS, Cardiovascular Institute of the South, the highest quality cardiovascular care available, Barker Honda, the Barker family tradition of quality, Terrebon General Health Systems, modern technology and timeless caring. Rouse's, you're either local or you're not. Buick, the craft of modern luxury. St. Martin and Bork, know your rights. Hello and welcome back to this edition of Bayou Time. Again, your host, Keith Weissite, licensed clinical social worker with Chairman Home Care. Very glad you're joining us. However, you may be joining us. We appreciate it. Joining me, very glad to have back with us, Kyle and Buffy. Thank you all for sticking around. We appreciate it. Uh, and again, one of those things that, that is really good for the club that y'all are a part of in two years in existence now, but thought of for five years, yeah. uh, as we've been thinking about it, the LCEC, uh, it is the Lafouche Concert and Events Club. The big event coming up, New Year's Eve, in case you missed it, New Year's Eve, Roger, the Roger Dowdy Band will be playing in Golden Meadow starting at 8.30 on New Year's Eve at the Oak Ridge Community Park right there on the back road at 3235. And you can bring your own fireworks. They're going to be selling uh, food and drinks. Yes. The reason we're selling food and drinks is because we need to raise some money. Yes. It's going to be a great event there. But you guys, you need to raise, like, we can't do anything without raising money, right? Correct. So we Correct. have people that donate and people that raise money. Uh, what are we doing, Kyle? What do we have scheduled here now to make sure that we're giving back to the community and availability? And so actually, well, one, one of the fun things that we're doing is at, at the park at the event, if you're one of the lucky ones, that we have some calendars available with our whole year planned out on that calendar. Oh, my goodness. So you can be flipping through, hey, what's going on? What's going on in July? Oh, that's what's going on in July. Lafouche mm -hmm. Concert and Events Club is having an event. Oh, my so, goodness. But, but what we have most immediately coming up is in February, on February 3rd, our 
third annual Cru de Couillons Mardi Gras Parade. Okay. Which okay. Kind of got the whole thing rolling on all this. That's kind of what bankrolled the starting of the club. Okay. And uh, say the name of that one again. Cru de Couillons. Cru de Couillons. Yes. May. <laughs> you say it fast, you don't know what that is. And the yeah. Cru de Couillons is one of the uh, come as you are and anything goes. So you can uh, ride a golf cart. You can come with a homemade float. Uh, some people pull a boat in a trailer and that's their float. We have walkers. It's, right? it's a fun, I've, I've fun heard about parade. It. And uh, it's it's really affordable for people to participate. The fee is $20. $20 a person. $20 a person. That is incredibly Absolutely. efficient. And that just helps us to pay for the insurance for the event right. and then have a little extra to give back to the community to go into our fund. February 3rd. February 3rd. Couillon. And then very second, appropriately named, by the way, absolutely. come as come as you are, right? Yes, Couillon, may, may, you know, Couillon, a bunch whatever of you want to do. And that's what people are from Mardi Gras for sure. <laughs> absolutely. And then uh, following that on March 16th, we're going to have our second annual uh, Irish Italian parade, right. which is the Cru de Lutens and in Cajun, Folklore, a lutein is like a little leprechaun, right, like Cajun leprechaun. Right. So same same concept, except that we're throwing fruits and vegetables in the Irish Italian parade custom, and so uh, same fee uh, wow. to participate. So people have really received that well. Uh, you know, those parades occur in the New Orleans area, and right, I know you have right. one here in Homa. Right. And we just brought that to the Bayou last year to Bayou Lafouche, and uh, people are already looking forward to that again. So well, man, it seems like you guys are really well organized to be able to plan that calendar out for the year yeah. of course we got this new year's eve event again i want to let people know again aaron if you don't mind one more time letting people know this new year's eve eve event it kind of kicks off the new year right it, it, it's the old and new it's 23 and 24 right. uh this new year's eve party taking place over the oak ridge community park on 3235 on the back road right there in golden meadow starts at 8 30 and you can come celebrate of course it's going to roll right into the new year right Absolutely. as we celebrate champagne for those that are old enough to be able to partake yes. uh which is 21 um mm -hmm. and uh, being able to roll into that and then you got something in february something in march what's something we want to tease for later in the year for people to look forward to well the, actually something new that we're bringing okay this april i don't okay. think about the word for a second this april right. we are bringing the first ever inaugural south louisiana music festival Oh, cut off wow. Louisiana. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna have so we're gonna have a all day a full day of music from ten to I think one o'clock in the morning. Wow. So bands all day. We're gonna have a gonna have a line of food trucks ready to serve you. We're gonna okay. have then gonna have craft vendors there, all set up, all right there and cut off, ready to Yeah. So the, the closest thing to that, I know, is one of the festivals that they've done where they have bands that come and play from the high schools mm -hmm. over at Central. Mm -hmm. And they do that, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, the Fed to Music, I, I want to say. Mm -hmm. And that particular festival, is it, that's the closest that I can mm -hmm. think about. But this is going to be down and cut off. Absolutely. Yeah. So any information on any of our events can be found on our Facebook page, okay. LaFouche Concert and Events Club. Our club is always looking for partners and sponsors. So, always, always. Um, you know, we raise money at events, but in order to pull off the big ones, we really need uh, community support from our local businesses. And so we have been really fortunate to have some some businesses who have sponsored us uh, consistently. Yeah. They're able to sponsor us by event or right. for the whole year or, or in general. We right. have many, many options to take your money if you're willing always to glad it. to find a way to take your money. And look, it's very, very important. These events bring in some money but they can't bring in enough money to be able to cover the expenses of course. and to take care of people like you mentioned kyle and like you did on christmas people that you find are in need mm -hmm. you're going to help them right. and and fortunately la restore has got some programs with two different group of mennonites that are coming to help bring back and restore people's lives but there's still a lot of people in mm -hmm. need there's still and a so lot of need uh, in bayou lafouche and uh, people are working hard to bring the community back and Throughout all of that, you know, the the mood has kind of been dampered a little bit. Right. So we're just trying to bring some joy. You know, while we're trying to raise money and support the community, we're giving them something fun to do at an affordable or, uh, or even free, or free right. price to be able yeah. to just enjoy each other's company. Ten more seconds, Kyle, go. And, of course, if anybody would be interested in donating and helping us with this cause, you can reach out to me at 
Kyle W at LafoucheConcertClub.com. Or you can reach out to us on our Facebook page and we'll be more than happy to help you. I love it. Guys, thank y'all so much for what you do. Really excited about the LACC and what y'all are doing. All right, guys, that'll do it for this particular edition of Bayou Time. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming right here on HTV.